What's up guys, c 13 here, and today I'm gonna give you my review of the Temdan iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8 Plus waterproof battery case. So if you watched my original unboxing video, you know the reason why I purchased this was because I already have a waterproof case that I rock on my phone, the Merit case, except I just wanted an extra hour or two of screen on time, mainly because I'm always connected to my Bluetooth speaker and Bluetooth drains the battery. So even though the 7 Plus has a big battery, it isn't any match for constantly being attached uh, and paired with a Bluetooth device. Bluetooth drains the battery a lot. So I wanted something that would be just as water resistant and waterproof, only it would also provide battery backup. And so the Temdan case was the only one on the market that provided a solution for both of my problems in the same package. So I have gone over the features such as the built-in headphone jack, which is great. Basically there's a built-in DAC in there that takes a signal from the lightning port on the phone, converts it into a headphone jack, and you also have lightning port charging, which means you don't need a separate micro USB cable to charge this case. You can use all your existing cables and plug-in accessories. So this was a big deal for me. Those two features alone would have sold me on the case already given that it's waterproof. But then obviously the other thing is it's waterproof. So it's entirely sealed, IP68 certified. It's drop rated to about four to six feet from what I understand. And it has a built-in screen protector and it even came with a optional uh, kickstand and optional in that it's included, but you don't have to put it on if you don't want to. It's an adhesive-based kickstand. And easy function here of the button. One press for on, two presses for off. Easy functionality. No complex, you know, algorithms or, or button press techniques. It's just one for on, two for off. So that's great. And also, you can charge the case while the phone is charging. So you can charge your phone while the case is charging. So if you plug in the charger, It'll charge your phone and then it'll also charge the case. So that's great too. No need to remove the phone, you know, remove it for charging, that sort of thing. All together. And call quality was great with this case. The call quality was excellent. The other person could always hear me, I could always hear them, no problems. Access to the mute switch was always super easy and this was nice and sealed. I did a water test before I put my phone in here. Access to the volume up and volume down buttons on the side worked great and the power sleep wake lock button also easy access and front camera access was not inhibited and of course you have a lens on the back which works great too so you're probably thinking if it's so great why isn't your phone in it well we're gonna get to that the number one reason why I am no longer using this case is because of this charging port this charging port is the downfall of this device. And you might be saying, why? I thought you said it was great. It's a lightning port. It's great. It is great that it's a lightning port. And it worked great in the beginning. But over time, like every lightning port, it has two prongs on the side that interface with the dimples on the, on the outside of the edges of the connector. The problem is, in this connector, it was made so cheaply that those prongs are are just not thick enough and so the spring steel in those prongs gave out and pretty soon the lightning connector wasn't even staying in the plug it would just wobble right out and so basically in order to charge this thing you literally have to lay it on a table and not touch it which defeats the purpose of having a wired connection to charge your phone because the whole point of having a wired connection over a wireless connection is that you can use your phone in, and hold it in your hand while it's charging so that defeated the purpose for me not to mention a charging port that gets to a point where it's so unsteady that it literally has to be charged without you touching it at all for it to still work within only three days of owning the product is a little disconcerting and so that's why I'm going to be returning it. But nonetheless, it is with a heavy heart that I return it because I really did like this case. Uh, and although there are obvious issues with this charging port being the biggest, I really, really did like this case. So I'm going to go over uh, Tendam, if, Tendan, if you're watching, these are some points for improvement. Obviously, definitely get on that. Improve that charging port for sure. 
that, that's a big deal breaker, obviously. You can't charge it. It's no good to you. But here's some other issues that I have with this case. And hopefully, when they come out with a version 2.0, like you could charge another $10, even $20. If it's better, I will buy it. And so here's some of my other improvements. Number one is when I put the phone in the case, I already live in an area with terrible reception. So like in my, in my room, in the house in general, I only get one bar. It'll be LTE, but I only get one bar of LTE. When I put it in the case, I often found that if I even just put the phone in my lap, it would literally lose all connection. It wouldn't just drop to 4G like it used to. It would just go no service and, I, and it, it took a while to reconnect because the signal was so weak. So clearly, this case is restricting the signal somewhat. Now obviously I understand they need to have space here for the battery. I get that. But you could keep the battery on this lower part and then have this top part be open plastic for antenna bands. And you can see they chose to put an aluminum back on the back of this case, which feels great in the hand and is quite durable. The problem is because it extends all the way up here and even past this side on the camera, the only little bit of, of area where the signal can easily penetrate is around here and on the bottom here where there's more rubber. So if they had just made this top section all plastic, although it may not have looked as attractive, it would have guaranteed far better reception through to get to those antenna bands than if they had gone with this design. So that's number one. Number two, although these flaps definitely seem like a very good material, uh, not once did I feel like they were you know going to wear out or easily anyway, or that they were going to sort of rip because they're it's a very good material, some sort of silicone, I think. I still don't like that they're not replaceable, or at least not easily replaceable. And so if they made some way for these flaps to be easily replaceable, that would be great because these are going to be the first thing to go. And once the flaps fail, then the case is no longer waterproof, and then you have a problem. So again, replaceable flaps uh, would be great. You could even sell them separately if you wanted. I mean, I would say include an extra set in the box, but let's say it's a uh, it's cost prohibitive to do that. That's fine. But just make them replaceable so that in the event that they rip, I don't have to buy a whole new case. Uh, another thing, the lens cover, two things with it. The lens cover here is good, it's clear, but the problem is that it is plastic. And plastic is much easier to scratch than glass. And fundamentally, again, this being on the back side of the case, this is the part with the battery in it. So this is going to be the more expensive part, even if you did offer replacements. And so if this was to get scratched, it will affect pictures. So even if it costs a little bit more, I strongly recommend replacing this with a glass crystal that will not only improve optical clarity, but also improve scratch resistance. Because ultimately, if this camera lens gets too scratched up, your phone becomes useless for taking pictures. The other thing with the camera lens is Unfortunately, when the phone is in the case, there is a decent sized gap between the camera lens uh, on the outside of the case and the camera lens of the phone. And I understand that if the camera lens is actually touching the lens of the phone due to like movement and stuff, it can actually cause focus issues with the camera. I get that. But having it that far away also causes significant refraction issues. And if you point the camera at a strong light source, you might get a secondary sort of double vision halo effect. And that would be mitigated if they could make the lens be closer to the actual camera lens of the iPhone. So that's the other thing. The other thing is, although like I said before, it charges the phone and the case at the same time, what they failed to mention is that this, is, this requires having a 2.1 or 2.4 amp quick charge enabled adapter. And although that's not necessarily difficult to find, it is a separate thing that you need to be aware of. And even giving that, all that extra power going into the case and the phone, it, it does feel like the charging circuitry is extremely inefficient because even when everything is hooked up, if you're using the phone, even lightly, even with the screen brightness turned low and you're charging the case, until the case is fully charged, your percentage will often, on the, on the phone's battery, will actually not increase at all until the phone case is finished charging. And it will only start charging the phone when you basically put the phone to sleep and you just leave it. And then you'll come back a little bit and you'll notice that even though the case is still charging, the battery and percentage on the phone has increased. If you could improve the circuitry a little bit, the efficiency of the circuitry for charging the case battery, 
we could see better performance when it comes to charging the phone while it's in the case and you're also charging the case. So again, improved charging circuitry efficiency would be good as well. Now the other thing I have to say is the LEDs on the back. Now you might say that's great, you know, it's you can see easy battery percentage and then when you shut it off, they go off. My issue is not only do they uh, not go off, they're extremely bright. So, and when, when you're charging the phone, obviously these come on when you're charging the case. So again, in the middle of the night, the worst thing you want to expose your eyes to is this bright blue light. I mean, it's so bright that in my dark, in a dark room, you can use these as a flashlight. So, you know, during the day that might be good, but I think if you're going to use bright blue LEDs, at least make them go off, you know, or make them dimmer or something because the current setup is not great. It, it's, it's not a great solution. The, the light is very jarring. It's very bright and uh, it's generally not a pleasant thing to look at at night. So again, you could replace these with white LEDs, you could make them dimmer, you could make them go off somehow. Again, these are all options. And I think that's another issue that is easily fixed, but it currently is just a, a little bit of a nitpick. The last thing I wanna say is, although they did a good job with an aluminum bezel around the display, which is great, there isn't really a lay on the table design in the sense that the gap between the screen itself and the lip of the case is maybe like a millimeter. You know, it's really small. So as a result, if this phone were to slam onto a even slightly uneven concrete surface, there's a good chance that the screen would be impacted. Whereas if they had increased this lip just a little bit or put some more silicone rubber on the side, it would be a much better protection situation for this display. So, I mean, in conclusion, I really, really wanted to like this case, and in many ways, I did. And honestly, if it wasn't for the charging port issue, I would still be using this case today. I mean, every every one of those other issues, in my, my mind, is livable. Even if it's not perfect, it was certainly livable. Tendan, if you're watching this, really, you know, don't take this the wrong way, because I really love your product, but I would love to see a new and improved version of it. So... In conclusion, currently I can't recommend this case, but I hope that there is an improved version in the future because if there is, I will be the first to buy it. Thanks for watching guys.